In this video, I'll give a short demonstration using the education training kit that's available in Agilent's InfiniVision 2000 and 3000 X-Series oscilloscope. But let's first briefly talk about the scope. Agilent's InfiniVision X-Series oscilloscopes consist of 27 different models. By far, the most popular model for EE teaching labs is the two-channel 70 megahertz version, which I will be using here. The reason this particular model is so popular in the education environment is, first of all, its entry-level price point, which lists for approximately $1,200 in the U.S., before any education discounts or promotions are applied. Secondly, these scopes can be configured with a built-in function generator, and finally, the education training kit. The EDK kit consists of three key elements. It includes a downloadable PowerPoint slide set that you can use to teach students about the fundamentals of oscilloscopes. Second, the kit also includes this downloadable student oscilloscope training guide and tutorial. And finally, the kit includes built-in training signals. To access the training signals, students are instructed to first connect probes between two inputs of the scope, channel one and channel two, to two test terminals on the front panel, and they're labeled Demo 1 and Demo 2. They are then instructed to press the Help front panel key on the front panel of the scope, then press the Training Signal soft key. Once students get into this menu of the scope, there is a list of signals to choose from. Let's begin with a simple sine wave, which is used in the very first lab. With this signal, we teach students how to set up vertical scaling, horizontal scaling, trigger level, and we teach them how to interpret what they're seeing on the scope's display, and also how to make quick measurements by simply counting divisions and multiplying by scaling factors. We also teach them how to use the scope's measurement cursors. Sign with noise training signal is used to teach students about trigger coupling when to use high frequency reject versus noise reject, and what the difference is in order to get a stable trigger in a noisy environment. The phase shifted sign signals are used to teach students how to make delta time and phase measurements. These same signals are also used to teach students about Lissajou waveform patterns. The sign with glitch training signal is used to teach students about possible oscilloscope undersampling and when to use the scope's peak detect mode to overcome this potential problem. The repetitive pulse with ringing training signal is used to teach students how to quickly perform various parametric measurements such as rise time, fall time, pulse width, and volts peak to peak using the scope's automatic measurement. The clock with infrequent glitch training signal is used to teach students about fast Fourier transform measurements. The digital burst training signal is used to teach students how to use trigger hold off in order to trigger on a complex burst of signals. This is a concept that even many experienced engineers don't understand. The digital burst with infrequent glitch training signal is used to teach students how to trigger on an infrequent glitch using pulse width triggering. That was just a sample of some of the signals that the scope can generate with the EDK oscilloscope training kit. But before we conclude this video, I'd like to tell you about a few additional things that might be of interest to you as an educator. First of all, I want to assure you that the training guide never instructs students to use the auto scale function of the scope. We know that educators typically don't want students using this capability of the scope because it can become a crutch. In fact, you have the ability to dis disable this function so that students can't use it. Secondly, also available in these scopes is a LAN and video output module. The video output port can be very useful for displaying the scope's display on a large screen as a teaching aid in the classroom or teaching lab. With the LAN connection, you can connect your scopes into the university's network. And these scopes even have a built-in web server. This means that students can easily access and control these scopes remotely and make measurements. Here we are showing a virtual front panel of the scope on a PC screen. Students can then use a pointing device to fully control the scope, perhaps from their dorm room, 
or from anywhere in the world for that matter. Lastly, to order a free printed copy of this oscilloscope poster that you can hang up in your lab, go to the URL listed here. This poster gives students an overview of the primary oscilloscope controls as well as tips on how to quickly set up an oscilloscope. To learn more about Agilent's new InfiniVision X-Series oscilloscopes and how they might fit into your university's EE teaching labs, contact your local Agilent distributor and ask for a demonstration. Thank you.